I'm going to make some uh, escargot in puff pastry and form it so it's a beggar's purse. And I'm using the Roland brand. This little can of 4.4 uh, ounces, I mean 7.75 ounces, dry weight. Well, the net weight is 7.75. In there are 12 nice sized, not small, snails, escargot. So, um, if you can't find these in the supermarket, you can order them online like I did. Just type in escargot and you'll find a website that sells it. And they weren't that expensive. And it could be done with red wine or white wine. I'm going to use white wine. This is very simple. We're going to mince the shallots and the garlic, mince nicely. I'm going to season the snails with a little salt pepper mix, which I have ready. I'm going to flour it and saute it in the garlic and shallots, putting the parsley and then the white wine. And after the white wine hits it, everything will start to stick to the uh, snail because of the flour and that's what I'm looking for to have a nice coating of the garlic shallots and parsley on there and we're going to use butter of course then we'll roll out the past the uh, puff pastry that's one brand name Pepperidge Farm is another one sometimes you can find it sometimes not anyway let's get started with this the snails are rather bland so you have to season them up nicely with salt and pepper butter and the shallots in there. That's about mm, two tablespoons. And the shallots and the garlic. It's not a lot because it's not a lot of snails. snails in now also. Just wait a minute. We'll dust them in flour. And just sprinkle another little bit more Salt and pepper on them. I don't feel like getting my fingers all sticky, so just toast them. <clears throat> now, when we throw them in there, the butter will be absorbed and they will, the shallots and the garlic will cling. And it's time to do that. Just lightly dust them so shake off any excess. We're not here to really cook these things since they are cooked already. I just want to get these things flavored up. Looks better than garlic and butter and shallots. Mm -hmm. Let that penetrate into the snail a little bit, hopefully. And what you're seeing there is a very light roux. Butter, flour, right? So you know the wine 
and we put that in there. This will thicken up immediately. And while that's going on, this is going to reduce down to nothing. Because all that we want all that flavor on the snail, not left in the pan. But while that's happening, I better move it and get that uh, parsley minced up, which I should have had ready, but I didn't. That's why it's important to go over your list of everything that you have to do and make sure it's all ready. And notice how it's starting to cling more and more. And that's what we want. This would be delicious just like that, but it's not, it doesn't have eye appeal. You don't really want to look at the snails, you just want to eat them. Alright, another half a minute, and we're done. Lower the flame, thank you. to cool somewhat. Because you don't want to work with it hot with the uh, pastry. And if you can't find the hot pastry sheets in the supermarket, try your local baker and ask him for a couple of pounds of uh, puff pastry. I'm sure he'll sell them to you. Again, maybe he won't. I don't know. Well, my oven is ready for the baking of this beggar's purse, and there we go. What's left in that pan? Just a little butter, and everything else is clinged to the snail. Okay, shut this off and allow it to cool for about a half hour or so. So get a closer look. They look great right now, see? I'm going to put that in the refrigerator, cool them down. So I took the, this puff pastry out of the box and if you notice, who knows how long it was in their freezer. All of this here is hard like a rock. This is soft. So we have to cut that off because you can't roll that. As you see, that is no good. And the puff pastry sheets, this thickness is not good for this item. Because we want to eat snail and not a whole load of puff pastry. Now if you were making them on Napoleon, it would be a different story. So lightly dust it. We're going to roll this out a little bit. Try and roll it straight. It doesn't want to go straight because it's a little hard right there. And I'm going to use the... What size do you want to cut them? We're going to use the can that the snails came in. That looks like a good size. And. Uh, That is just about thin enough. Pretty good. Now we have nine snails, so just this is all right. I'm 
I'm not going to roll out any more, even though I have nine. Those are the other snails for something else. So we'll put the snail right in the middle and pull up. All around. Twist it a little, squeeze it, and then we're going to put a little, we'll put it on this baking, this plastic sheet, and, I have to show this, this sheet is from France, it feels like rubber, but you bake in the oven with it, so you save on parchment paper and egg wash and the egg one egg with a tablespoon of water okay that takes care of that so let me make another one and what will I do with the rest of the snails I'll just eat them the way they are they're so tasty just bring up the side and if it breaks like that one did and onto the sheet. So we finish those and then we'll bake. Well, you know what I'll do with the rest? How about making a, a snail turnover? Just egg the inside here. Fold it over. And the last two we're going to expose the snail so it's like a flower. Just bring the sides up a little bit, egg it, just come around. And why am I doing this? Because the shell's a little too, the snail's too big for what the cutting that I did. Should have cut a larger piece. So you cut a larger circle. Then you can bring it up and twist it nice and easy. But since I didn't, you got to find a way out. And this is a way out. By just bringing up. Like so. And a little egg wash on the sides. Done. And that should look good too. So we have three different ways of doing it. And I'm not rolling any more of that frozen, freezer burnt uh, pastry. So I'm going to bake these off and we'll see what they look like. I set the oven at uh, 400 and uh, 25, so it's 400 uh, regular oven because the convection will take care of the temperature itself. So I started off with uh, the word beggar's purse and I wound up with the beggar's purse didn't work but you know what did work and came out beautiful? Look at these pockets. Escargot pockets. Better looking because the escargot is visible. The turnover was okay but you can't see what's in there. So at least this way I like that. So let's call this recipe escargot in puff pastry pockets and enjoy that was 15 minutes at 425 convection then of course then it would be 400 at uh, a rate a non-convection oven enjoy